Hi, I'm Lady Yoga with Bella V Mind Body Spa here in Fountain Valley, California. And this is our Bella Bite for Yoga for Runners. Now, for every mile that you run, that's a thousand hits of pressure that start from your feet and go all the way up the body. So it is super important that you stretch all those muscles that you work. Now, there's a theory about stretching before and stretching after. It's super, super important that you at least stretch after your run, whether it's three miles or a 10K or a full marathon. So you're using a lot of the muscles of the lower body, but you're also using muscles of the upper body, and that's talking about the lungs, right? So when you're breathing in and out through the nose and you're running really fast, you're usually using about this much of your lung capacity. So it's about, you know, to your top of your lungs. So you want to take really deep breaths in and out through the nose as much as you can before you even hit uh, the pavement and you're running. If you start getting cramps, right, sometimes you get cramps right below the the diaphragm, it's because you're not taking deep enough breath. So if you ever get those cramps during a run, it's fine to just take those arms up and over the head. This is going to relieve some pressure off of the diaphragm and allow you to take deeper breaths. Also, you tend to carry a lot of tension in the shoulders when you're running those miles. So it's really good to sort of take those palms back behind you, open up through the front of the chest. Just so that you're good and limber, those shoulders are ready to go. Give yourself a good squeeze so you're opening up through the back of the chest. Switch sides and the cross of the arms. Maybe a few little head rolls just to get yourself nice and relaxed in the shoulders, nice and loose in the upper body so that your feet can move as fast as possible. Now when you're running, you're using all of the strength in your lower body. So you got to stretch the quadriceps. Lean up against a tree or something you got support. Or if you've been practicing yoga for a really long time, maybe you can balance without holding on to something. Getting a good stretch for the top of that thigh. You're going to also want to get a stretch for the back of the thigh. So you'll take that leg back behind you and just forward fold. Now if this is in the middle of your run, you want to make sure you're not folding forward all the way because this is going to drop your heart rate really fast. So stay into a forward fold where you feel that stretch, but you're not, your head is not too far lower than your heart. You're also talking about the inner and outer thigh muscles here. We don't pay nearly as much attention to the inner and the outer thigh muscles in stretching. So you want to make sure you take a nice wide stance and then just lean that weight over to one side, bringing the weight towards the heel. You're going to get a good juicy stretch, the inner thigh. And then go ahead and do the other side. And then for the outer thigh, the iliotibial band, lots of muscles running through the outer thigh. Just cross one leg in front of the other and forward fold. Bring the weight forward towards that front foot and you should feel a good juicy stretch through the outsides of the legs. Same thing for the lower legs. So you want to make sure that you get a good stretch for the Achilles heel. I'll take off this boot here. My running shoes are in the shop. So you're going to want to make sure that you put your Put your toes or the ball of your foot up against something that you can lean into. Get a good stretch for the outside or the back of the calf and the back of the Achilles and even a stretch for the arch. We always forget about the arches too and let's not forget about those little arches and those little toes. All that pressure we're putting on our feet. Oh, that feels so good. And then go ahead and do the other side. So you want to make sure you're not lopsided. You want to do both sides here. And if you have a nice foam roller at home, you can pick one up at a sporting goods shop for about 15 bucks. It's great to roll it out or get a massage at our Bella V Mind Body Spa. This is just great five minutes, 10 minutes for you to do when you're finished with your daily jog or when you're finished with your marathon. It's so super important. And more than anything else, hydrate. Hydrate as much as you can after your run because it's depleting those energy stores and you wanna make sure you're nice and hydrated and your muscles stay nice and supple, your joints nice and limber. So for more tips on how to integrate yoga into your athletic routine and your daily life, check out BellaVMindBody.com. For Mel Bella V Mind Body Spa, I'm Lady Yoga. Thank you.